Ladies and gentlemen, this is Gaming Citicom video. If there's one thing that's guaranteed to bring hype to PC gamers right now, it's a DirectX 12. And Microsoft and pretty much everyone else have been rather cagey regarding the performance of DirectX 12 in terms of low-level optimizations, what type of features would it have. We know some stuff, but there's still a lot of mystery, particularly how it's going to be stacking up against Mantle. And so I figured you might be rather interested in regards to some comments Game Biro have actually made in regards to DX12 and uh, uh, Mantle from, of course, AMD. The quote is as follows. This is, by the way, from the marketing director, Brian Tawalski, um, as well as the lead engineer, Yun J. Huang. Hopefully I've pronounced that correctly. He said, and I quote, Our engineers have been testing Mantle. Mantle enables us to share many rendering codes for the Xbox One and PS4 and many benefits even on PC, like explicit multi-GPU management. Also, Mantle exposes more low-level features than DirectX 12 as extensions. Although we're inevitably going to support DirectX 12 as well, Mantle is definitely the key technology and something we'd like to adapt for consoles and high PCs. Or high-end PCs, shall I say. Now, of course, one of the main points that we have to remember is that DirectX 12 is still in development. However, as it currently stands, and this is all out of quote, of course, um, as it currently stands, Mantle still offers a lower level support than DX12, which, when you think about it, isn't exactly super duper surprising. And the fact that it's going to allow fairly easy ports over to consoles is also quite interesting as well. I have to say, some have concerns regarding the adoption rate of Mantle. And it's actually fairly reasonable at the moment. Um, I believe it was a chap over at AMD. I think it was Huddy over at AMD. Um, and he pointed out that the adoption rate of Mantle is actually better than DirectX 11 when it was first released. Because DX11 had a fairly lackluster start it took a while for developers really to stop pushing it one of the reasons for that to be frankly honest was because of the next generation well the current generation consoles at the time um and it took a while for direct x11 feature sets to really start rolling out it's only been the last couple of years that pretty much all games have been dx11 and even so there are still some that vehemently and adamantly stick to dx9 but then Having said that, most PC games, of course, were still using 32-bit executables until fairly recently, because, quite simply put, the game engines and the games themselves were not created with the need to utilize that amount of RAM. Um, in other words, more than 4 gigs. Anyway, guys, as I said, fairly short video. I just wanted to put this one out to you, just so you're aware of this one. But hopefully you've enjoyed the video. I'll see you soon. Take care, and bye for now.